This short video is just going to be about a little experiment I'm doing on my best Optiplex computer, my main workhorse. Well, up until now, it could only hold graphics cards like this big, kind of small. The reason I got a smaller case is because like in 10 years when it could fit like a, a in, in NVIDIA Titan or something like that into one of these, well, it's going to be an amazing little machine. But for now, I, this is all I can fit in, inside of the machine. But what can we fit outside of the machine? Well, I bought a GeForce GTX 960 for $210, and I bought a little power supply with it for $40, because this computer can't run the graphics card itself. It is all connected up. It has a ribbon cable connecting it into the PCI Express lane inside of the Optiplex. So, right now, I want to test the power supply, because I do not have it connected up. The second power supply has the green and black pins connected together, so it tur should turn on when I flip the switch. Yep, the power supply turned on. Okay, let's turn that off, and I can connect up this to the power supply. I'm going to turn this on first, and then the computer. Oh, look at that. Will we get any video signal? That is the big question. It's not working. I mean, the monitor is not working. The graphics card is working fine. I forgot that this flea market or this um, thrift store find the 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 DVI is busted on it. So that's why that's why I only use VGA. I'm an idiot. But it's working better on my NEC, and by better I mean it's working. <laughs> Look at that. I'll probably replace this monitor with an HDMI monitor sometime, like a 1080p one, because that does not have any VGA outputs. But I don't really need VGA outputs. This thing takes DVI and it's a nice little monitor. And this thing has a lot of issues. It has a really, it's always like two frames behind the computer, so it's, it's delayed and the color is all out of whack and stuff, and it's just bulky. So yeah, I think I'll get rid of that monitor and keep this as my secondary one. But for now, this will be perfectly fine. So one restart later, and it's recognizing the GTX. 960. Look at that. So wonderful. Now, let's tax it. I say... Final Fantasy 14 benchmark. Okay, so I have it on the lowest settings. That's kind of like my normal benchmark that I do for so I can have between my oldest computers and my newest computers. Let's see what it gets. GPU load 9... What? It's already beaten what it was before. Okay, then. Well, look at that. Huh. Holy shit. GPU load 80%. That's really good. Let me... GPU temperature 56 degrees Celsius. That's not going up at all. The fans should kick on in a little bit. Fan speed 0%. That might start going up in a little bit. It actually starts because right now, 54 degrees Celsius, that's really low. Holy shit. 17,000. Okay, that's like getting close to three times. 80%. Man, this is going to be so good. So, so good. 2%, but I don't see the fans moving yet. Oh, look at that. They're starting to tick a little bit. Oh, there we go. They're so slow and quiet. Fan speed 7 or 8%. It's starting to speed up a little bit now. Looks like it's starting to get to the temperature where it starts speeding up a little bit. Oh, this is working so nicely. And it's so quiet, too. 20,000. They actually have this, the fan RPM. That's pretty nice. So I really don't even have to look back to it. I can just see that it's lightly piddling along.
man. That is just crazy. 26,000. 26,000. Let's see what it does at maximum. But still at 1280 by 720. Oh, that looks, that still looks really nice. Damn. But that's using a lot more power. So here we have a game that actually made me finally realize that, yeah, I should upgrade my graphics card. Stranded Deep. They've added a lot of features. So let's go to Ultra. Oh my god, look at that. That is such beautiful graphics. Oh man, I just, I can't believe it. It's just so nice looking. This is so wonderful. Oh my god. This is on maximum settings too, and the GPU is only at 70% power, so I could even handle games better than this. Woohoo! So excited. I've I haven't had a computer this powerful ever. My most powerful computer I had before this was my Asus um, 68 or 6850. I can't remember for sure. But, it, but I put a 560, uh, a GTX 560 Ti in it. Well, this is a GTX 960. All right. Yeah, 960. So it's two generations ahead of my pre previous computer. And that thing, I still use it in, back in Illinois. So this, this graphics card, this $300 purchase, should last me for, oh, I don't know, easily five years. Because it's just it's, it's it's very future proof. So, what do I think I should do now? I think I should put the graphics card into an external housing, and maybe get a, a longer PCI Express lengthening cable, so I can have a longer cable coming out, and maybe like wrap everything up nicely, so it's like a it's like it is like an official like or not official, but it's like an oh a boat. So it is like a nice external graphics card. So there we go. The first test of an external graphics card. And I have to say, this is pretty freaking cool. I really like it. Probably a little bit until I make an actual video about it though. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!